Already, robot spacecraft have explored the planets. Someday, we may send an intelligent probe to a black hole in the depths of space beyond. mothership travels fast enough to insert into a safe orbit around the hole. A different fate awaits the probe. As I approach the black hole, I will start to feel a gravitational tug on myself. It's a different kind of a gravitational tug or pull than you're accustomed to. Normally you think you're just pulled down. As I sit here in this chair, my head is farther away from the center of the earth uh, than my chest. And so my head is pulled less strongly than my chest is. So in fact, there's a difference in the pull. My head is being pulled less strongly than my chest, so I'm actually being slightly stretched apart by gravity. As you approach a black hole, that difference in pull becomes larger and larger. As you get closer to the center, gravity will get more extreme. You will be squeezed and distorted. Spaghettification is the name some people use for this uh, experience. Spaghettification is an experience nothing can survive. The fragments streak down and into the blackness of the hole. You or I falling into the black hole get, will get stretched and our bodies will get uh, mutilated before we even reach the horizon. It's no good. We can't break free. Get him out, Alan. He's accelerating. We can't hold him. Something else strange happens well before the event horizon is crossed. Not only space is being stretched, so is time. The closer the probe gets to the event horizon, the harder light from it struggles to escape. The mothership sees the probe slow down until it seems to stop. Time doesn't change for the probe because gravity is stretching its whole existence. But from the mothership's perspective, the probe has become frozen in time. It is both destroyed in an instant and hovering for eternity, depending on your point of view. Nevertheless, if you are inside that spaceship looking back at me, you can wave, you can see me, you may think I can see you, but I can't, and you go inside the event horizon, you can still see out, you still see me on the outside, uh, right up to the point that you die, you can still see me on the outside. Oh my god, I'm going to be stuck into a black hole, I'm going to be stuck into a blue there's going to be nothing, and what's going to be coming out of the other side, I don't know. I'll save you, Dad. I can't get any closer. You'll have to jump. Piece of cake, son. Crack, 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 crack. What happened? Well, we hit a little snag when the universe sort of collapsed on itself. We don't really know exactly what would happen deep inside a black hole if you were to fall directly in. It could be that uh, something even stranger happens to space under these conditions, something like what happened at the beginning of the universe. And indeed, uh, some people have speculated that in general it may be possible to avoid the 
complete singularity and emerge somewhere else. Some say that if you pass through a rotating black hole, you end up in a new universe, a new dimension even. We've entered. I recall a movie in which at the end of the film, the uh, spaceship goes inside the black hole and comes out the other side into another universe. That don't happen. It just doesn't happen at all. Uh, the fundamental laws of physics say that at the center of the black hole there is a singularity, a region where uh, space and time are infinitely warped, a region where when matter flows into it, matter gets destroyed. But does this have to be so? Ew. This is the worst place yet. <laughs>